This video is sponsored by Kinsta, who are the highest rated managed WordPress hosting on G2. Now, it's fully managed, which means you don't have to worry about server or any kind of maintenance that goes on in that side of things. They work with the fastest C3D servers, which are provided by Google Cloud. And Kinsta is the only one offering that at no additional cost. You also have automatic backups, so you don't need to worry about your website blown up. You have 37 global data centers, so you can make sure your website loads closest to your visitors. There's a global CDN enterprise level integration with Cloudflare, and Kinsta host more than 120,000 websites out there from small, medium to large size businesses and they have 24-7 human support so no AI chatbots to fight with. So guys, I'm going to talk a bit about redirects in this video. Now, what is a redirect and when should you use one? Now, there are different types of redirects which we'll talk about in a moment but what is a 301 redirect? So, if you're going to do content pruning, you're going to pull down old blog posts that maybe no longer are factually correct or you're just doing a cleanup of your website you don't just pull that down as your website gives off a 404 error like we've seen in the last video 404 not found basically when google bots crawling that website it's going through and finding error after error after error after error it's going to leave your website it's going to impact your crawl budget and it's going to bugger off and go on to someone else's website. Hence why we have something called a 301 redirect or a 302 redirect. And there are a number of other different types of redirects, but the main one used is a 301. So if a page is coming down and never coming back, you want to implement what is known as a 301 redirect. Now you can go into your hosting, your control panel, go into redirects and you can do it from your hosting now the way that i do it is i use a redirection plugin called redirection now that sits on the back end of my website under tools and we just go down to redirection and if i want to add a new url i can put in the old url there and i can put in the new target url the new URL of the new page that I'm redirecting to, and I can call it a redirection. Now, um, that would allow me to implement a 301 redirect. So I have pulled down pages on my website in the past, and I'm able to go in and add a 301 redirect. That is simple, that is easy, and it's something that you should be doing. Now, you can set up groups, you can look at your 404s, you can import and export your, your redirects and everything else. You know, if you're moving to another server, you can pull that stuff down. So you can use the redirection plugin there, no problem at all. Now, all-in-one SEO also comes with a redirect functionality in there. Now, you again can go through and implement redirects using this here so you've got your source your old url and your new url now there is different types of redirects as i said you've got 301 where the pages move permanently 302 um is the pages found but it might be out of stock or whatever it might be and that page is likely to come back. You can also add a 307 or a 308. Um, now you can add bad requests, forbidden, 404s, and so on and so forth. Now a 410, I want to talk about a little bit. If you've got a URL that you want to see is completely gone and you want it to drop out of Google's index, normally just doing a 301 redirect might be the right answer. However, sometimes things get stuck in Google's index. If you want to get that page completely gone, then you want to use a 410 gone message. Effectively, saying to Google, the page is gone. Now, I wouldn't do that if the URL that was there had any link value. You want to do a 301 redirect in most cases 
so that you're passing any link equity, any traffic, and everything else over to the new URL. So if you're doing content pruning, in most cases, you're going to do a 301. If the page has no link value and you just want rid of it, you can use a 410. If you're in e-com and it's a, the page is temporarily gone, you can use one of the temporary redirect options. So make sure you don't just pull pages down, add redirects. If you're unsure, do some research on the right type of redirect to use in the situation you're in. If you're not, you're going to confuse Google and that is not actually worth it. When you're doing site audits, you're going to see countless 404 errors. It's not good housekeeping, so make sure you keep on top of it, guys. Thank you.